and welcome to your gold market update for today friday the 14th of october mike smith senior analyst of gold markets here with your daily walk around what's happening in the markets and what an eventful 24 hours we've just had let's have a look at what's come across the news we saw a wild night on wall street with us equities swinging significantly after slightly hotter than expected inflation data and poor weekly jobs numbers there was a drop on open in excess of 2% and it closed more than 2% to the upside. To put it into context, it's the fifth biggest one day swing from a low. It does suggest volatility is here to stay and you don't get much more volatile than that. US futures are near neutral in Asian trading, just dropping slightly into the red in these early hours of the trading day. Asian indices are trading higher following that US leader. ASX is more than 1.5% with a fairly broad based rally across all sectors. European equity futures are also pointing to a strongly higher open, not surprisingly, after we got that continued buying into Wall Street after the European markets closed. The US dollar index dropped but looks slightly higher in Asia so far and gold bounced after a test of 650 intraday. Oil also looks relatively weak early on but rebounded uh, to move back towards $95 on the Brent crude CFD contract. Copper held on to 340 and the VIX dropped but is still over 30 which is a very high level and reflects where markets are right now. Bitcoin also tested a key level in that early part of the trading day overnight with a test of 18600 support. It did recover to some degree and is really about where it was at this time yesterday just over 19,000. On the data front, we've got Chinese CPI that's out imminently as we're recording this. And later on today, the US retail sales number will be of interest to markets. Probably as influential on market sentiment will be big banks starting to report in the US. Got JP Morgan as the headline act, but others to follow. And of course, we ramp up next week. Additionally, is likely to be some end of week repositioning based on what's happened this week. Which way that goes is obviously unclear at this stage. But it may be that there is still an aversion to significant risk. Every recent rally has been sold into, so it wouldn't surprise us to see that happen again. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that are catching our eye today. Uh, let's start by having a look at the Aussie yen. And we've been talking about this for a couple of days. We had this outside bar pattern here with a major reversal during the course of the night we've just put it on an hourly chart you can see that reversal there's the inflation data coming out there's a reversal during the u.s session and this morning in asia we are trading towards the highs of the session looks as though a test of 93 is on the cards if we just pull this back a little bit this 9318 looks important if we breach that then we could see a move up of around about 50 to 60 pips up to test 9360 which looks like the next significant level on this on the asx domino peter are having a good day at the office you can see it was trading in a range for a couple of weeks dropped below that range a couple of days ago and has bounced with significance today we're seeing it up in excess of five percent and over this level at around about 56 dollars if we can hold that and close towards the top of the candle then in the first instance we could certainly see it up to 60 and possibly beyond if we get this buying continued uh, certainly looks as though the perception of some value from institutions there and a strong move up in today's session is well worth keeping an eye on just to reiterate it is still a high risk market as i said there is some important additional market information coming in later not least that jp morgan result and of course it is friday Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.